As the tumor grows, it will eventually reach a size where it will need to have additional vasculature to sustain continued growth. To achieve this, the tumor cells excrete certain proteins to stimulate blood vessel growth into and around the tumor, a process called angiogenesis. One of the major pathways involved in angiogenesis involves vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, and its family of receptors. There are seven subtypes of VEGF and three receptors that bind differently. VEGF affects the endothelial cells that line the blood vessels in a number of ways. It can cause them to proliferate by activating the extracellular kinases and MAP kinase signal transduction pathways. It can induce proteins that break down the basement membrane to allow endothelial cells to migrate and invade. These proteins include matrix metalloproteinases, or MMPs, urokinase type plasminogen activator, or UPA, and its receptor UPAR, as well as the tissue type plasminogen activator. It makes vessels more permeable, allowing molecules and fluids to leak out. When MMP is secreted into the extracellular space, it degrades the extracellular matrix to allow proangiogenic factors to reach the vasculature. With the extracellular matrix degraded, proangiogenic factors, including VEGF, can reach receptors on the endothelial cells of blood vessels surrounding the tumor, thus stimulating the angiogenic signal in the vessel. VEGF also helps the new endothelial cells survive by upregulating inhibitors of apoptosis. VEGF also activates the endothelial cells to express the proteins necessary to allow the new blood vessels to form. The end result is the growth of new blood vessels into the tumor. With the growth of new vessels into the tumor, additional nourishment can be delivered to the tumor. New blood vessels in the tumor facilitate further tumor growth. Strategies targeting VEGF and its receptors have been used successfully in clinical practice. Bevacizumab, or Avastin, is an antibody that binds VEGF and prevents its binding to its receptor. Another therapy is sunitinib, or Sutent, which is a small molecule inhibitor with high binding affinity for VEGF and PDGF receptors. The receptors on the surface of normal and tumor cells can be inhibited directly. Cetuximab, or Herbitux, is an antibody that binds directly to the epidermal growth factor receptor on the normal and tumor cells and competitively inhibits the binding of EGF and other ligands, such as TGF-alpha. As we have seen in this presentation, tumorigenesis is a complex, multi-step process that results from genetic changes and causes malignant transformation of normal cells. A summary of the characteristics common to many cancers are abnormal signal transduction resulting in uncontrolled cell proliferation, loss of apoptosis or programmed cell death, tissue invasion and metastasis permitting spread of the cancer, and angiogenesis, leading to enhanced blood supply of tumors. Many of the components of these mechanisms are potential targets of anti-cancer therapies.